Hi, please tell me you have a sweet pretzel left. We do. And we have 18 different toppings. We have sweet glaze, cinnamon sugar, chocolate, white chocolate, fudge, M&M's, caramel dip, mint chip, chocolate chip, marshmallows, nuts, toffee nuts, coconut, peanut butter drizzle, Oreo, sprinkles, cotton candy bits, and powdered sugar. Is there any way that you could do all, all of them? The works, you got it. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking on a caloric carpet bomb that only Michael Scott could have dreamt up, the 18-topping pretzel, the elements of which are laid here before you. The toppings are obviously very silly, but they give us the opportunity to learn how to make soft, buttery, shopping mall-style pretzels. We're going to start by heating two cups of whole milk to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and adding two packets of active dry yeast. We're then going to let that sit for about five minutes or until it turns a little frothy and bubbly, put it in the bowl of a stand mixer, and add six tablespoons of light brown sugar, three and a quarter cups of flour, one cup of bread flour, two teaspoons of salt, and four tablespoons of cooled melted butter. Affix your dough hook, drop it down, and knead for 10 minutes. You want a tacky but not sticky dough. If it's too sticky, if it's sticking to the side of the bowl, add flour a couple tablespoons at a time until it pulls away from the sides of the bowl. Then we're going to let the dough rise for one hour in a well-oiled covered bowl in a warm place. A good spot is on top of or inside an off oven. While that's resting, we've got some toppings to make. Let's start with caramel sauce. I'm going to kind of breeze through this one because we already made it for Homer's Moon Waffles. If you want to see how to make caramel sauce, just check out that video. We're basically cooking sugar and water until it turns honey colored, adding heavy cream and letting cool. Next up, we've got hot fudge sauce. We're combining four tablespoons of butter, half a cup of cocoa powder, two thirds of a cup of chocolate chips, a whopping two cups of sugar. Newsflash, this recipe is unhealthy and a can of sweetened condensed milk. Simply stir everything together and bring to a bare simmer and cook for about seven minutes or until a beautiful chocolate fudge sauce forms. Lastly, we've got the peanut butter drizzle. We're gonna start with a half cup of heavy cream, add to that a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of light corn syrup and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And optionally, you can add a little bit of vanilla paste. Heat this mixture until just steaming and all the ingredients are incorporated and then let cool slightly and add a half a cup of smooth peanut butter. Mix until completely smooth and pour into a really cool mason jar. And at long last, it's pretzel time, no pun intended. Unwrap the dough, which by this point should have doubled in size and liberally spray your work surface with nonstick spray. Divide the dough into 12 equal pieces and begin rolling out into long dough thingies about the width of your finger. Then once you've got it stretched out about three feet wide, it's time to twist the dough around three times and fold it over on top of itself, forming a pretzel that we're then going to dip into a solution of about four cups of hot water and a half a cup of baking soda. I'm gonna make two different kinds of pretzels here, so I'm gonna hit three of them with rock salt and three of them with cinnamon sugar. We're then going to place them in a 450 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 12 minutes, turning halfway through until we are greeted with some kind of sloppy looking but totally delicious pretzels. And because we're not watching our waistlines, we're going to brush them down with melted butter while they're still hot. Let these cool a little bit, but we obviously want to serve them warm. I'm going to be performing this procedure on a sheet of parchment paper because I know it's going to be an absolute disaster. Now in the order as listed by the pretzel man, we're going to start with a sweet glaze made from powdered sugar and milk, some cinnamon sugar, which is just half cinnamon, half sugar, a chocolate drizzle, a white chocolate drizzle, a semi-redundant smearing of hot fudge sauce. You're gonna to need to microwave this briefly to make it drizzleable again. Then we're gonna add some M&Ms. I went with M&Ms minis for the sake of structural integrity. A healthy drizzle of our delicious caramel sauce. This is gonna help our other toppings stick down the line. Then it's time for mint chips. I have some mint chocolate chips here. I couldn't find the straight up green ones. Some chocolate chips, miniature marshmallows. These aren't as many as I would like, but whatever. Nuts, toffee nuts. You can make or buy these. They're just candy coated pecans, some sweetened flaked coconut, our peanut butter drizzle, this is a very odd combination, peanut butter and coconut, one whole crushed Oreo, a healthy sprinkling of multicolored jimmies or sprinkles, and then cotton candy bits. This one was tricky. I had to go to a baking supply place to find them, and a gentle snowfall of powdered sugar. I know that you're thinking this pretzel needs more toppings on it, but that's really all that there is, and I managed to get a bite with almost everything on it, and I gotta say, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I actually went back for seconds, but it seemed like this form factor could be improved upon, so I divided the pretzel into equal sections, drizzled it down with sweet glaze for topping support, and placed a one-inch segment of each topping all the way around the pretzel. This way, you can have a different flavor with every bite. At this point, my hands were actually shaking from the measly two bites of pretzel that I had taken earlier, so I couldn't possibly eat this thing, but hey, at least it was halfway Instagrammable. And in the end, isn't that really all that matters? 